Hi stars! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hey stars, today we are going to be talking about how to get your Nigerian international passport for just 26,000 Naira. Yes, you heard it right. So this is Queen here and I'm Freke. If you're new here, please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. First, what you're going to do is first you go to google you type in nigerian immigration portal and then into the first page you click on the first page then you will see start new application and you click on start new application okay so it will take you to where you're going to log in your details you see passport type applying for fresh passports here yeah? so you click on applying for fresh passports because you are not renewing then standard passports because that's the normal passport type not official you fill in your details and you go down you see booklet type 32 pages or 64 depending on your bu budget and then after that you click on validity which is usually five years Confirm you're not a robot. Move over to the next page. You're going to be filling out your personal information, which includes place of birth, gender, marital status, occupation, maiden name. You move over to your hometown, your contact information, which involves your hometown, your state of origin, your contact number, your permanent address in Nigeria your state, your local government, your city and town, and postal code, if necessary, your current address in Nigeria, same as permanent address, your state and local government. You move over to, you continue with your personal information, surname, first name, date of birth, place of birth, gender, and your name and email. Okay, next one is next of kin information, name of next of kin, address, and the local government where your next of kin is from, the city, phone number. You just in, impute your next of kin's personal information. Yeah, so the next step we will. So for this part, make sure that all the information you're providing are correct confirm all your spellings and make sure that your names on your documents are the same with what you're filling here i'm saying this because i had a similar experience while doing my own my birth certificate had an hyphen in the name so the name did not rhyme with what i was feeling I had to go back to the courts to do affidavit and then repeat the whole process again it was so much stress don't be like me avoid all of that you go to the bank it's usually uba bank so when you get to the bank they'll give you their details you fill in and you make payment once payment is being done you are going to log back into your portal you will see that your application is already being paid for you are going to print out all the necessary documents you need for your capturing day you're going to print out your receipts your acknowledgement slips and also print make sure to print out your guarantors form these are the necessary documents you need for your capturing you need your birth certificates you need your state of origin certificates and you need two colored passports and also guarantors forms sworn before commission of oaths and marriage certificates where applicable if you're married and also um, letter of consent from parents for minors Okay guys, so on the day of capturing, when you're done with your capturing, they'll give you a slip with the dates of when you're coming to collect your passport. So that's it. Easy peasy. Thank you so much for watching our YouTube to this point and I hope you found this helpful. Please do not forget to like, share, subscribe and if you have any comments, leave it in the comment section. The link to the immigration site will be linked to our description below. Thank you so much. See you next.